boiling Jamaican cinnamon leaf and stick, salted water and sugar. Preferably brown sugar. Mm. We're gonna make this bring to a boil and we'll be right back. Carrot, the potato grater, the banana grater, and the coconut. We have cinnamon and nutmeg and grater um, coconut milk strain and brown sugar. Three cups grated Jamaican potato, two cups grated green banana. Half a cup cornmeal, two cups freshly squeezed coconut milk, and I'm adding two cups of sugar to the coconut milk. Where's the butter? Stir to get it dissolved. Butter right there too. Put it on the stove so it's really soften. Flour. And one teaspoon baking powder. Heaping teaspoon baking powder. Um, one tablespoon cinnamon, one tablespoon grated nutmeg, two cups shredded coconut. To the coconut milk, I'm adding two tablespoons. Benjamin's Vanilla Two tablespoons of your favorite soaked fruits This is raisin currants and a little um, prunes cut up Gonna get all the little goodness into it. Oops. Half a teaspoon salt because remember the butter has salt in it. And here we have the most important thing, the quail banana leaves straight out of Jamaica. Now the sugar dissolved, which is brown cane sugar, again straight up out of Jamaica. We're going to start the process of mixing combining all these wonderful ingredients together. So here goes the coconut milk and brown sugar. Remember in baking and cooking you had your liquid to dry, to dry ingredients and you don't have all your liquid at once because you need you don't want your texture to be too runny. So we had them slowly. Going back again, I'm getting all this. The rest of the sugar it's supposed to be dissolved. Get nice, ooey gooey blue draws. And 
this is the mixture I think the consistency looks quite okay getting everything all mixed in true test leave your spoon standing it slowly falls to the side so you know your consistency is right what so are you the, doing? the banana leaf is not quail enough so it's splitting so i am passing it over the stove to get it pliable remember it was bought frozen at the korean store um so i am quailing them it's a quailing quailing method to get it soft and pliable okay. so that you can wrap okay, we'll the keep, mixture keep repeating this process for all of them if this I'm not going to be using all of this when I'm finished I'm going to put it back into the freezer for another time so see they, they were not quail so we could do the mixture so what I'm doing I'm prepping the leaves so that the mixture um, can be properly see about this size and then I'm going to quail it over the stove and give it five seconds for each side you don't want it burn you will see it coming to get you will see it spreading all over the you know that okay it's soft you know it's pliable especially the edges you can bend the edges if they are not soft so we are preparing the banana leaf okay so the spoonful and i'm gonna be folding Here, I don't know if you can see, but I'm using crochet thread. Mm -hmm. Because y'all didn't send the banana bark up here, so I'm using the crochet thread. I'm gonna need a surface. Wrap, cross, flip, and tie. I hope I can tie it with my nails. I want to Jamaica, but I make no comments about me nail, but I cook with long nails. So I mean, no, no. I and wash. <laughs> I can't tie it. Okay. And make sure you don't put too much so you can't close the banana leaf. Put a certain amount. One spoonful? Yes. Depends on how big you want them. See it in the city and put some long and so I'm going to do this once again in the middle of the thread. You hold it do this, I flip, and then I tie. Continue so here we are with salted sugar and water with cinnamon leaves that has been boiling we are going to gently immerse them into that mixture and they will boil for 45 minutes then they'll be ready to eat but as you all know blue jaws taste better when it's cold get the banana leaf you can still make your blue jaws I find that if I get a piece of foil not the thick foil the, the softer foil and we just fold to trap it on so you know no leak properly so it doesn't leak out see 
you make a nice little pocket for your blue drawers and you don't even need the string because as you know the foil paper holes you do the same thing you immerse it in the water just, I'm just doing that to show you that there are other ways of doing it if you cannot get the banana, um, leaf. banana leaf to you but if you are in the Brooklyn area you know all the Korean stores they sell the banana So guys, I received my Dukunu, aka Blue Draws, depending on which parish you're from and what you call it. It is now chilled after it came out the fridge. I'm at work. I'm about to have this as a snack. So this is what it looks like. How amazing. I'm about to have this. Thank you guys so much for watching.